We're here in a tiny studio in Los Angeles getting the first in the world look at this, the Genesis X concept. Now this vehicle probably won't make it to production anytime soon, however we can assume that the styling features are going to appear on future Genesis products, including two forthcoming EVs, one of which that will be based on an existing Genesis vehicle and another that will be a completely EV bespoke platform using Hyundai's eGMP architecture. But back to this. We don't know anything about it, we only have five minutes to play with it, but you can absolutely see that it looks the business. This is an incredibly stylish machine from the Genesis brand. And it carries on the company's signature twin hash lines throughout, not just appearing on the headlights and the taillights, but on several body side features. You also get the Genesis wing logo, which they pointed out incorporates the twin hashes on the side, as well as the wing shape for the grill. One of my favorite features is the wheels. And you really have to get up close to understand why, but there's a really interesting cut through that looks like it might funnel cool air to these massive brakes. You also get the Genesis signature lattice work appearing on the center locks. Also, when were we gonna get center locks on a Genesis? That is the craziest, most Porsche-like feature. It's wonderful, it's so, so cool. Probably out of place for this car, but I don't care, I love it. You can see the twin hash reappear on the side of the vehicle as well, uh, kind of appearing like a fender vent. Also important to note, this is an EV. They, they say that this isn't going to have a traditional combustion engine, so there's no need for like an actual fender vent. That's why they've turned it into a uh, body side lighting signature. You also get fantastic full body length sculpting on the sides. This is wonderful example of body surfacing. This long body line leads to these fat Audi-like haunches. You, you, I don't know if you can see it in videos, but the wheels sit so far out from the rest of the body and it really gives it a very muscular and planted stance. You also get the double hash feature showing up on the belt line trim, kind of cutting through the rear window, which looks a lot like a first generation Mercedes CL. Kind of an interesting design feature that uh, they really have done a good job of integrating. Also, to my eyes, it looks a little bit like a Korean Polestar 1, and I don't mean that as a slight. It is a decidedly rear drive looking architecture with a long front hood and a short rear deck, and it looks like it's ready to just eat up the miles. Let's take a step back and just appreciate for a moment the car's best angle, which is this rear quarter. You get these fat haunches and the tapering rear deck. You get fantastic geometric um, tail lights with the Genesis hash design. A big, big rear fascia with the Genesis word mark appearing above the license plate frame, and then Pretty interestingly, even though it doesn't have tailpipes, they've incorporated the Genesis Shield insignia in the lower balance as well. Just lots of unusual features for this machine. One last thing that's really important to note, Genesis is planting a flag in this two-door coupe design. They're not going for a crossover. They want this thing to be emotional and exciting and they want people to want to drive it. And it's really interesting that they're using this form factor to kind of like presage the future of Genesis, but quite frankly, if it's going to look anything like this, I'm here for it.